this episode very few people are going to watch yeah. but i hope you do because it's important and it goes to the core of what this channel is about so i hope you like it and i hope you share it with your friends shrikant hmm? do you think of yourself as an evidence based person absolutely when you see some data even if you don't agree with it you will believe what it says 100% always i'm a very evidence based person most probably not okay huh? let me give you an example okay, okay. there are two candidates mm -hmm. and they have come for a job mm -hmm. and i administer an aptitude test to them okay okay one of them does very well and another does badly okay what do you think about these two candidates the person who did well on the aptitude test is the one who you should get for an interview right okay now if i give you some additional information okay right? the person who did very badly mm. happens to be a graduate of iit bombay top 5 in class okay now what do you think uh probably a bad day for him probably something didn't work maybe you should give the test again yeah. to him now the person who did very well in the test mm. happens to be from a no name local college and has a bad percentage in four years of engineering what okay. do you think uh i don't want to say it out aloud but uh, you think he is cheating well you said it not me right. you should definitely give that so, person the test again the data ha huh. which is the aptitude test ha huh. your interpretation of it changed based on the college and academic performance yeah but navin iit b top 5 yeah. candidate so, that is my point that evidence ha huh. isn't evidence it depends on what you believed before the evidence also right this is a concept in statistics called bayesian inferencing right okay what it says is that a decision that you make a belief that you have huh. doesn't just depend on the evidence you are seeing right now it depends on what you believed before you saw the evidence okay, okay. so fundamentally you start with some belief that oh iit bombay is a good college all students of iit bombay are smart top 5 in class is definitely going to be smart yeah. local college students high chance of them being dumb especially if they scored less than 50% in, right? in comparison to the iit bombay student i am right? saying so these are your beliefs before you saw any evidence right True. these are called priors Okay. Okay. And any belief, any decision that you make, starts with the priors, looks at the evidence, combines the priors with the evidence, and that's how you reach your decision, right? Ah. So belief is prior belief plus evidence gives you the new belief, right? Okay. But wait, these priors that you're talking about, hmm. these are also accumulation of evidence over time right for example iit b i know that the graduates of iit b are good you yourself are an yeah. iit b graduate so we should understand how these priors got built up right this okay. accumulation of evidence that you are talking about there <laughs> is very specific way in which it happens okay. okay so let's start that right now uh, i believe that iit bombay graduates are good yes right? and then one of them does well on the aptitude test my belief strengthens a little more right correct and this happens like you know probably has happened 50 times in the last 10 years correct which is why now i believe that iit bombay graduates more or less are good and something similar hmm. that people from a local college with bad grades uh, end up doing badly right again 50 times it has happened in the past each time that belief gets strengthened correct right? correct so this is my priors getting strengthened reinforced correct right so that new decision also becomes a part of the prior in future decisions correct but the reverse also happens right now that this one iit bombay candidate has done badly in the test there is a chance that that is going to slightly reduce my prior on iit bombay candidates Aha. right and if this keeps happening then i might end up with some new prior like you know oh since covid iit bombay graduates are duds right ah. or there actually is a prior that oh ever since the jee became an objective exam the students are not good enough anymore right i've heard this one yes yes so <laughs> this is how priors get updated i mean you might have a strong prior but if the evidence keeps piling up piling up against it then hmm. slowly the prior goes down right ah yeah. but these are still evidence based so i am still an evidence based person not necessarily okay there are different kinds of priors i might call them borrowed priors for example you might get priors from your family and culture 
like people who drink and smoke are bad people and they're going to waste their life and you better not hang out with them True. or you might get it from your school like you know following the rules is a good thing getting good marks is the most important thing in life and so on right yeah you might get priors from the media like all celebrity marriages are screwed up right religion is another source of lots of priors right you can just pick your own religion pick your own prior and there are so many examples full of them, right? of them absolutely a lot of our biases hmm. and stereotypes that we have are priors right yeah for example for example i have this belief that uh, someone who speaks fluent english or fluent any language that i can speak hmm. is definitely a good person to hang out with correct and all of us have biases for yeah. example once i went to a software company and i saw a very well dressed woman with makeup there and i just assumed that she can't be one of the developers there right okay so, <laughs> but i hope you updated works. your priors there yes <laughs> <laughs> all right so all of the evidence that we collect over time over life is basically updating the prior to some kind of a right conclusion right mostly that is true and we hope that is how all of our life works but sometimes there is a problem there right okay because the prior affects how you view the evidence okay wait how what simple example remember we talked about the aptitude test ha huh. and that was evidence Yes. And just because of your prior on the college your complete view of the aptitude test changed. Oh, this person had a bad day. Oh, that person cheated on the test. You see yeah. how that works. That yeah. evidence is no longer evidence just because of your prior. Yeah. So in that case my prior was actually a bias and that affected the evidence. Well, it depends, okay? Because maybe it is true that you know aptitude tests are just a bad idea. and so you were right and your prior was correct the evidence is wrong okay but the reverse might also be true which is that you were really biased against local colleges and people with low grades right and as a result you never ever update on the evidence okay yeah. so in fact this is a very important special case called trapped priors which prevent you from ever seeing any evidence right and you are just stuck uh we will cover that in the next episode in much more detail right just But to give you a quick example uh the entire anti vax movement essentially is an example of a very strongly trapped prior because it started with one paper by andrew wakefield about how vaccines cause autism and that one single paper is the one that is cited every time anti vaxers want to Uh, oppose vaccines yeah. just one single paper there are mm-hmm. thousands of papers about how vaccines are actually beneficial none of those get cited just this one paper by wakefield get cited just an example we'll talk more about it in the much more other episode detail, yeah. yeah but here's a question where do these biases begin because if i am updating my priors on the basis of evidence eventually i have to come to the right thing so biases must begin somewhere right yeah. very simple hmm. right when you were a baby Hmm. where did you get all your beliefs from your uh, parents yeah. right your parents can't do anything wrong why because you know you are crying you have no idea what's going on your parent comes put something in your mouth and now you are happy yes amazing what a genius right <laughs> again you are crying you have no idea what's going on your parent comes cleans your butt and you are happy what a different genius right so for the first 5 years everything that your parent says is like you know just god's word okay. <laughs> by the time you start realizing that your parents can make mistakes a whole bunch of priors are already set already set but then you get a whole new set of people to believe right because your teachers in school are like everything the teacher says is absolutely true and you come home and you tell your parents and your parents try to tell you no 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 beta that's not how it works and you're like you know where did this person come from my teacher said it and obviously that's true <laughs> right yeah then by the time you are 15 years old it is your peers your friends right what your friends say and this guy heard so and so and did so and so and now suddenly that's what you believe and in your 20s it is like bosses and youtube uh, creators so like on. us right. yeah so all of these like we mentioned earlier these are borrowed priors yeah. and 
those are the source of lot of biases borrowed more like shoved into shoved down our throats prior these yeah, are yeah. okay but i do see that happening in various aspects of our life even now now that we consider ourselves thinking people and yeah. independent and free will and thought and what not see fundamentally all of life hmm. is bayesian updating yeah. right i mean basically i am sitting here hmm. right and you didn't murder me why would i well in the african savanna if you just go sit with someone there's a good chance he'll murder you right true kind I mean, of how do i know you do, won't murder me i have a prior there right yes uh, and that i'm not worried about getting food in the evening because you know there is going to be a person at home who's cooked food for me that's <laughs> a prior okay true we don't realize these things these are so automatic most of our world works on priors right yes but there are a lot of spots in day to day life where you can see that you know this is like at the edge of being right versus wrong okay? for example so hmm. take movies for example a new salman khan movie has come out would you watch it no okay but hmm. if meeta tells you that this is actually a good movie you should watch would you watch it 100% i would watch so what has happened is that based on your past experience you had a prior on salman khan movies yes but then based on some other experiences you had a prior on meeta's reviews about movies yes right so and we are constantly updating that right if meeta tells you to watch that movie and it turns out to be bad and then one more salman movie she makes you watch you are going to adjust your prior on meeta yes but if you like those two movies you are going to adjust your prior on salman Yes, right. Long-term relationships. There is another sequence of Bayesian priors, right? Go on, say more. She sent him a message. He didn't reply. She is going to assume that he is not interested, right? Takes time to reply. We are right. literally like struggling with our thoughts. Uh-huh. We are we are trying to figure out what will not set you off. So give us time. Focus, focus, Shrikant. <laughs> the okay. priors here, right? Yeah. Uh, after a few months of. this happening she realizes oh it's not that he is not interested but he has all these issues okay these are not <laughs> issues man i mean you have to be careful with messages later on you, you know, know right he tells her to do something okay and evening he finds out she hasn't done it that depending on what prior he has about her can either lead to a full blow up you never care about what i want or oh she might have forgotten maybe busy day today right Yeah, Asian IIT Bombay or local <laughs> college. I, mean, I don't mean that literally. Just yeah, I apply get... the same concept that the aptitude test. She didn't do it. Depends on the prior, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a lot of uh, relationships go through similar kind of problems. Yeah. But how those problems are resolved depends on how the relationship has progressed up to that point. So it yeah. is updating in a very strict and straightforward sense right professional life is also full of bayesian updates right your boss tells you to do something at friday evening 5 pm do you have to do it in the next one hour or can you go off and do it on monday morning this is actually a question for all of you if your boss asks you to do something on a friday evening do you do it in the next hour or do you wait till monday to do it and whether whatever your decision is think about it it's based on a whole bunch of priors there are probably like five priors the here right please comment and let yeah. us know we are very curious because yeah. i uh, depending on which boss it was i would either do it yeah. on friday itself yeah. or i would be Correct. okay waiting till monday in social situation also there is a whole bunch of priors right mm. uh, you and rohan have decided to meet at a restaurant at 7 o'clock mm. do you go at 7 or do you go at 7:30 depends on what prior you have on rohan right? change the name from rohan to rapa and uh, i will go at 8 o'clock to meet him <laughs> for a 7 o'clock meeting yeah politics politics is full of this stuff yeah. right here is a great example from the us okay this is results of actual surveys of republicans and democrats asking them what they thought how well they thought the economy was doing and you can see that when their own party president was in power they think great economy was doing great and these guys think it was doing badly and then when the president changes it flips over you can right? literally see the point of change coinciding with the change of president you like, don't need any other information 
to know that this is not based on data this is based on priors and bias, bias absolute right? data yeah. and absolute bias wow we are uh, we are so conflicted as a species we think we are evidence based but uh, we are mostly prior based it seems yes, we have a prior that we are evidence based but <laughs> <laughs> that's but, a good way to yeah. put it so i think the important thing why is this so important yeah. right first of all understand that all your decisions are a combination of priors and evidence yeah. right and whenever you take a decision especially important ones right if you can separate out the prior from the evidence just be aware of this your decision making will improve right True. second is to know that your priors can become pathological to a point where you start rejecting evidence okay uh, we will talk about this in more detail in another episode right and it's mind blowing you should watch it but being aware of this and knowing how to get out of that black hole is important it can change your life you should subscribe so that uh, you get notification when that episode drops or actually yeah. it might have already yeah. dropped yeah. check and the third thing is that this is such an important base concept that it shows up in many places right mm. a lot of future iq episodes are based fundamentally on bayesian updating right we talked about the science of incorrect decisions yeah priors right in fact the entire episode now that i think about it can be directly linked to these priors and this concept of bayesian updating because every single thing that those people did in that experiment that we've talked about in uh, the science of incorrect decisions was on the basis of priors even though they thought they were talking about it in terms of evidence you could clearly see the priors that prompted them to do that yeah. go check that episode out line it up after this it's one it's not just this episode right everything right the episode on group conformance yeah priors the episode on preference falsification priors yep. the episode on costly signaling why do does costly signaling work even if it is fake because we have a whole bunch of priors right so your understanding of other future iq episodes and mental models will improve once you have a good handle on bayesian updating and priors in fact what we'll do is we'll create a playlist of all of these videos and uh, uh, make that available for you to watch in a in one single sitting binge on this content and also subscribe to this content and uh, let other people know about the stuff that we are doing because it makes us happy when uh, you know other people also uh, watch it and we need more of this knowledge to spread in the world and uh, let other people also update their priors shrikant navin future iq binjorthi